If you guys are enjoying the content here, definitely check out patreon.com slash party with strategy. Extra episode every week, four extra episodes a month. It's only $5 for the whole month. You get four extra episodes. That's literally less than a cup of coffee. In today's climate of pay more, get less, we're bringing back pay less, get more. Let's go, champ. Join the Strat Pack, patreon.com slash party with strategy for extra content. We'll see you over there. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Welcome back to the Party with Strategy podcast. Two very special, very beautiful guests, two of many at the fine establishment that I work at on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. The best Wednesday night party in the city, actually, if we're going to be honest. Industry night. Whole cat's own. We got Cat and Lonnie. Hello. How you guys doing? Good. We're doing it. How you it. feeling? Great. <laughs> What'd you do last night? Just had a little fun. <laughs> oh, okay. A little fun. I like that. What is that? What does that entail? Um, just had dinner and hung out with my boo. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I see where you're going. How about you? I worked. How was it? Last it, night was Sunday night. It was slow. It was slow? Yeah, it was, you know, Sundays are actually usually pretty busy, but it yeah. was a little slow. But yeah, then I went out. Where'd you go? Where do you go after? What's your, what's wherever your go-to? Wherever the wind blows me. Usually like somebody is not again. <laughs> usually wherever, like, I don't know, like somebody's house. Oh, like an after party, after yeah, party. Yeah, okay. I was doing a little afters. Okay, I mm -hmm. see you. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you That's made fun. it here. Most yeah. people, you know, they do afters and then they're like, oh my God, I got to go do something tomorrow. I'm going to cancel. I'm on go. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. I, I usually cancel, but <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we're glad to have you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah for sure. We're excited. Uh, it, and it feels kind of like uh, destiny, you know, because we just had the eclipse, right? Literally an hour ago. And yeah. you are a professional astrologer i am is that what it is correct how does that what how does that work explain that to me i don't even know what that means well i didn't know that was a profession i thought it was just a, a hobby don't. yeah most people don't well and it can be a hobby but like i like it enough to do it as a job so you can use astrology for a lot of different things but i do readings for clients okay so like i will read your natal chart or do like if you know, people will come to me when they're going through big changes in their life and I can look at the chart and explain to them what's happening, why it's happening, like how to navigate it. I do children's natal chart readings, like relationship compatibility, all that stuff. That's wild. Yeah. How did how wild. do you how do you get into that game? Have you let her read no. your natal chart? No, no. She hasn't seen your natal chart. <laughs> no. She hasn't seen I no. <laughs> I haven't seen the inside of her soul yet. <laughs> yeah no it's fine i'm latina so you you're know we have too like scared of that brujeria yeah we we can't mm -hmm. yeah it's would you consider yourself a witch like a good witch oh yeah i'm a witch for are sure. you a witch yeah we're just starting off strong here i am a witch <laughs> yes i have always been a witch like since i was really little how did you know that you were a witch I just had like magical powers. Well, I would define that. <laughs> Give me an example. You no, got like the okay. force. You could, if you, if you fucking think hard enough, can you get this glass of uh, mushroom tea to yourself? Well, no, I'm not Matilda. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, being a witch, like nobody really understands what that is. It's just using your own intention and nature and energy to you know like you can use it for whatever you want to heal people to invoke certain things into your life lonnie looks a little bit more nervous now that you've come out openly as a witch <laughs> no <laughs> no yeah. i feel <laughs> like she, that's fine she i feel like i could i don't know there's like things i can do like latinas we have like a little you know we have our little things that we can do and diamond cut can we can we confirm <laughs> I'm the guy version, so uh -huh. maybe there's brujeria on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like the agua de calzón, you know, like to get What's somebody that? hooked I have on no you. I have no idea what that means. What is that? So that's basically like you put your underwear in water, let it soak, and then you give it to the guy to... No, knowingly, to like, oh, wait, wait he what? Drinks wait, he drinks underwear water. Yes, for him to, like, be hooked on you. How much of the water does he have that to consume? Is, I, I have never done it. 
but you know like, is it just, like, do you, i swear i've never done do you it. have the underwear water like in a little eyedropper and you just drop it into I, his I drink or does he have to drink little, the whole glass i don't think it Wait, has to be a lot this is crazy it is insane but I there's a lot of things that. a lot of things that well that's like a spell right so my i dated a girl who was also a self-proclaimed witch mm -hmm. and loved astrology and all these things and she like she told me one time that some girl put a spell on her and the only way to stop it she talked to some shaman lady mm -hmm. and the only way to stop it was to get a piece of her hair and take it and write her name down and put it in a bag with the hair and freeze it in the, yes, freezer. the freezer oh don't even get me started with the freezer <laughs> you yeah. gotta do what you gotta do yeah. yeah but i don't do black magic like i would never mess with somebody's free will okay because what you put out energetically is what you get back tenfold so any real witch with like integrity would not like i would never curse people people ask me all the time like have you ever hexed someone i'm like no because i'm really just hexing myself if i do that like i only use my powers for good what's the most good that you've done you think like just off the top of your head like an example of something because like again this girl told me that one time she needed money and she did like a money spell oh, or yeah, something oh yeah i do that all the time all of a sudden she was like, yeah, my backyard, my dog just like dug up a hole in the backyard and there was like $400 in there. Stop. <laughs> like, the yeah, it happens about? in crazy ways. I mean, I've definitely like <laughs> cast spells for money before. And it worked. And like yeah. all of a sudden you just got like some check from the government that you lost money and they were like, hey, we found your money. Sometimes stuff does happen like that. Yeah. But also like what I find is more don't get me wrong there's like crazy things that happen like yeah an unexpected check or whatever but usually it's like a, a little bit of a slower process of like manifestation so instead of just having like money fall from the sky it's like you will suddenly have an opportunity come your way where you can make good money like a better job opportunity or you'll have like an idea that leads you down one path, which leads you to what it is that you're trying to like draw towards you. So like magic is crazy and things can happen like that, but it's really not what it looks like in the movies most okay. of the time. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it's I more about it. just, it, and I hate to use the word manipulating, but it's like manipulating energy, you know? Yeah. So, it, so it takes some time sometimes. I mean, I, I can sort of relate to the idea of taking energy and manipulating it a little bit and and like creating something out of nothing sort of from the stance of like being a dj you know like mm -hmm. there's certain things you do that really create energy with a room full of people and you can take them somewhere and bring them to a higher level totally so there's there's some relatability there yeah vibration right i mean vibration, that's i mean yeah. everything is bi vibration but especially music yeah that's a big like vibration changer yeah how old are you guys by the way uh i'll be 29 okay this month nice i'm 32 I'll oh, be 33 okay. you in guys a aren't couple young. months. Okay. I we thought you were young. like 23, 24 or oh, something. Oh, no. Thank I you. Know. People always I'm looking guess. rough right now. I appreciate that. No, you look good. <laughs> I thought, yeah, okay. I was really honestly hoping to get into the mind of like a 23-year-old girl in terms of like music because I'm an old man now and like my throwbacks, we share the same throwbacks yeah. really yeah i'm looking for like i'm trying to dig into the throwback mind of who who would be ari <laughs> she's 30. oh yeah she she's is 30. 30 but she likes i don't know i but guess her taste in music is... that's like scary though because what's a throwback for a 23 year old like that's what i'm saying a new song to us yeah <laughs> it's fucked up because like i'll play some shit that's a throwback to me sometimes and i lose the room because it's a fucking room full of 21, 22-year-old no, yeah. people. And I'm right. like, oh, yeah, you guys don't even know about this. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, no. I don't even know who would be like. I mean, we've got probably some of girls. dancers. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of young girls at the club. Well, also, I kind of knew like because I would the last couple of weeks I've been playing. It's mostly house music, but I've been getting a little crazy and going outside the box, playing some R&B throwbacks and shit. Mm -hmm. And mostly everyone in there is fucking with them. That's how I kind of know yeah we're all the same age in there right oh yeah no you kill it <laughs> you should definitely come on the weekend then because we need to hear this well I, at least i want to do yeah, yeah i'd love to that it, there's such a dirt you've never been to polka at houston right no 
There's such a difference between the two clubs. It's insane. How so? Polecats Houston is a little bit more of like a after hours spot. It's a little bit more of like a like I'm fucked up. Where am I at? Let's get weird. Like, it's a little wild. It's like wild, that. kind of. It's like yeah, it's it's wild like that. And then over here, it's like such a nice establishment with tall ceilings and bottle presentations it gets, and like it gets it's, weird it's, it gets weird on the weekend don't <laughs> no i like weird like really no but that not like weird like super weird but like yeah. fun weird. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's weird. a fucking vibe that's like, what i'm saying i like the room so much and i want to i want to play on on a weekend when it's just yeah you have, packed you have, i think so it. too i'll manifest that for Definitely. you will you do a spell for me please? <laughs> i will I let's can totally do, do a spell. let's like join hands here <laughs> yeah. and do a spell to make people drive from the inner city all the way out to Bridgeview Hell on yes. Wednesday nights. I mean, we're open late enough that it's worth it. It you is, know? yeah. We're open Or you don't four. even have to drive. You can just Uber there. Exactly. You know? you know what I'm saying? Or Kinfolk Concierge. There's nothing that beats the feeling of being secure and protected while commuting in the city. Kinfolk Concierge is Chicago Land's premier armed chauffeur service. Their expertise range in services that provide VIP, car services, and personal protection. DM with the code STRATEGY or give them a call and let them know you saw this promo on the podcast for 30% off of your next ride. That's a 30% discount. That's a big discount. That makes a $100 ride $70. Don't hesitate to book your next elite level experience. Contact Kinfolk Concierge today. Back to the episode. Yeah. So how are you guys feeling? You excited? You got things to do today. You came with a whole duffel bag and a whole plan. I know. I literally have like dresses and shit. Like, yeah, I got all sorts of stuff in that bag. Yeah. She's always prepared, though. Always. Always I'm ready. always on the go. Just on the go. But yeah, I got to go to dinner tonight. So. Hell yeah. What are you going to have? Yeah. You you have like a weird astrology diet? <laughs> no. Oh no, I'm a big foodie. Big foodie. Yeah. So I indulge. Nice. In like whatever I want. I can't be stopped. Nice. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat tonight. We'll see. What am I gonna drink tonight, really, is the question. Yeah, what do you drink? Tequila? Yeah. Tequila shots? Yep. <clears throat> we do. A lot. Nice. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to Uber one day on a Wednesday. I don't really drink because it's so fucking far. Yeah. And I'm yeah. too scared of those suburban cops. I don't oh, blame God, you. Yeah. I'll eat, you know, I'll eat a little mushrooms and some weed and see what happens. Well, they take care of us if we drink, you know? They 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 won't let us yeah. drive and they'll yeah. have our Uber right outside yeah. for us. Get stopped at the door real quick. I know. That's why I don't drive anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Smart. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. They don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh I'm I'm working on getting a deal with my boy who runs this car service to bring groups of people out. I'm trying to get like Dope. industry folks, you know. The problem is like every establishment is trying to throw a party every single night of the mm -hmm. week. So yeah. I'm like trying to tell people, yo, I'm doing this Wednesday night, let me get you a car, get your staff together, do a little staff outing, and they're like, Oh, we gotta work. Right. Like, no one's coming to your fucking club on Wednesday. Right. Like, you got to pop in Thursday. Your Sundays are crazy. Friday, Saturday's a given. Give it a rest on yeah. Wednesday. You know Have what I'm fun. saying? Yeah. Fun. We're taking over Wednesdays. Right. Seriously. We should. I love Wednesdays. Yeah. They are, yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> got to get We gotta get some people out Wednesdays on Wednesdays are always fun at Polecats, yeah. Weekdays are always fun. Yeah, it's lit. It's lit. I, um... So what's up with this eclipse, actually? Because I need to know about it. We just went through it. Um, I feel like you have a better definition or understanding of what's going on. Diamond Cut had a theory that it's the reset back to 2017. Interesting. This, this eclipse is happening, and it's bringing us back to where we should have left off in 2017. There was a, there was a point where we strayed away. We were in a parallel universe or something like that. And all this insane shit has been happening, COVID and craziness right. and fighting COVID and was crazy. you know, all the bullshit, the world's upside down right now. But apparently this eclipse is what's bringing us back on track to where we should have been. And now we're going to so prevail forward. you're, you're onto something there because that's what eclipses do. Eclipses are tied to our destiny. They're connected to the past and then like the destined 
path that we're supposed to take. So like the way I always describe it is that eclipses realign us with the path that we're supposed to be on. So and, and it's like on a large scale, like on a societal level, but also individually. So like your soul came here on a mission, you know, to do certain things and have certain experiences, but we have free will. So we could do whatever we want. So when an eclipse happens, it realigns us back to where we're supposed to be. That's why eclipses are crazy. Like they'll just shake things up out of nowhere. Like this happens. Pay attention to eclipses. Relationships end. People leave Oh, oh, people leave their oh, job. Uh, how, last night didn't go moves. so well. What happened? <laughs> Wait, no, no. <laughs> it, that It's a huge thing because it's yeah, basically it's like been crazy. anything that's no longer serving you a purpose, it's got to go because it's in your way. Like you have a mission to fulfill that you just can't fully see. You have you've got things you got to do. And eclipses sort of like usher in things that are inevitable. So things will just end or begin like I've had a crazy couple of weeks. And so we're now well, what's been going on? What's been happening? What did you what you've been doing? I basically okay, so so I had like a roster. Okay. <laughs> I had, now we're well, talking. No, okay. What kind like, of roster? How many I, how many men are on this roster? No, I don't okay, that sounds crazy. No, that like, sounds right I, on It's on not that point. I had a roster cuz I was actually not really even actively dating any of these people but i had like a few people that i was talking to yeah. and i was like oh it's a think roster yeah right actively dating is out that's like a thing of the past yeah well, i mean a like of like them are out of state too okay so they weren't really you know they were in the roster but they weren't really in yeah. the roster you know what i mean yeah 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 but unless she was in the city you were bringing them up from the g league then once in a while they were back so anyways <laughs> they all and i was like it was it was overwhelming because i was like wait there's like all these potential guys that like i could date that i'm like into actually like i that doesn't normally happen i don't normally have like three crushes at once but i did and then as soon as the first eclipse which was two weeks ago happened oh there was an eclipse two weeks ago yeah so they always come in pairs so that's why we call it an eclipse portal so we had one eclipse and then two weeks later did now you we guys know about this, this first eclipse, eclipse? I, didn't. I see i feel like that's March on like 25th. the astrology email list that's not like public information <laughs> we did not get that there wasn't as much because this eclipse we had today is a total solar eclipse it's like a big deal and like i don't know the media was pushing it which i think is kind of weird like why is all of a sudden like <laughs> everybody involved in this but the first eclipse was a full moon on march 25th so then okay. that time in between eclipses is what we call an eclipse portal that's when all the shit goes down so like i had these guys and once the first eclipse happened i'm not even kidding like i woke up one morning and the whole roster had gotten wiped out not of my doing they were just all gone like i didn't want to talk to them anymore some of them stopped talking to me they just disappeared and then i'm like well wait a minute and then out of left field, somebody else pops up. And I'm like, oh, I get it. Cause I'm actually supposed to be spending time with you. Those people had to go. Like it makes sense. But at the time I was like, I lost my game. <laughs> like I got, I was like, I, what's so, going on with me? Dude, this guy straight up left me on red. I don't get left on red. I got Damn. left on red and I was like, man. But then, but it was divine intervention. It was all right? for a reason. Yeah, destiny. So you whittled it down to one soldier left standing she didn't it just happened it just happened that, yeah. that's what the eclipse does you know yeah it, literally now is this like so do you take that and you're like this could be my person like are you are you getting more serious with this are you like low let yeah. me like really see what's going on here and see yeah. if you so you're ready to For settle sure. down with this man all from an <laughs> eclipse it, yeah kind of to be honest <laughs> nice look at you <laughs> but, blushing but i know i know but we'll see because who knows no but yeah it, the timing was really weird though because i was like how and and this eclipse is happening for me and my chart in my relationship part uh, of the chart see how many notebooks do you have filled with like research and calculations and moon Tons. equations i have a whole box of notebooks like cover to cover in the, and books and everything yeah yeah that's yeah there's so it's a lot it's a lot and i will say i like to i like to pick people's brains who have you know different uh lifestyles or or, or ways of thinking than i do i don't really subscribe to the astrology thing but there are always certain things that stick and and 
like the Mercury's and retrograde thing. That's happening right now as well. I really think that that's a real thing because even though I like to make fun of it, like when one electronic of mine is fucking up, they all are. And mm -hmm. I'm like, there's something, something's going on here. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mercury's retrograde right now. And it's funny because being at the club, we have to use computers and we have to print stuff and like, it never fails that like, like just last night I was at work and the printer just, it, you know, like when you go to make a copy, it was printing out the copy, but then there were like three sheets of paper attached to the first paper. And then like the printer thing was like malfunctioning. And I was like, and I literally didn't have time for it because I was like in the middle of something, but I'm like Mercury retrograde, like <laughs> the, the computer, oh, we listen to this, we got a new um, like POS system yeah. last time Mercury was retrograde. And we had all these issues with it. And oh like, God. none that of was us the worst. liked it. And it was, and, and in my head, I'm literally like, everybody needs an astrologer on payroll. Cause if anyone would have listened to me, I would have been like, wait three weeks to do this and everything would be that fine. That was really bad. <laughs> yep. We were having a lot of issues yeah. with that. Have you sold that to any companies? Cause I feel like you could hit a lick with that. Oh, I, I for sure could. I haven't, but I have a lot of, um you know like clients just an on-site astrologer yeah so just I in am there early before everyone else in the office with a little literally circle of candles mm -hmm. taking in the vibes of what's gonna happen today well because here's the thing so ev everything has a birth chart so when when was the first day that your establishment opened when did your business begin that's your business's birthday i can pull up the chart i could see everything so this it's called electional astrology you can choose a date to to launch something based off of yeah the as the astrology that you want but doesn't that sort of like diminish the thought of a human being having a birth chart to be able to give a birth chart to just some thing that really has no actual life or soul don't you feel that way or no? No, because I just think it's like when something is birthed. So like your relationship, what day did you guys start dating? That you have a chart for that. So you can see the do you energy. Know, do you know when you guys started dating? Me and my girlfriend? Um, we started dating September 20th. Okay. I'm really bad with dates. I, I don't don't keep up anything you could pull something up and you could look at the energy just to see like because what was what was the energy like at the time that something began that's essentially what astrology when we're looking at a chart that's what it is okay right okay i, I see the vision yeah <laughs> lonnie how about you you got any passions obviously cat has a huge passion for astrology and birth charts well i mean what do I'm you a love what does your youtube homepage look like we know what hers looks like mm -hmm. I'm a mom, okay. so I I have two girls, so I do that a lot. Take care of them, cook, mom things. clean. Yes. Yeah. Well, and you're like have such mom vibes. Like you're so meant to be a mom. <laughs> you like you're like Lani is amazing because when I work with her, I'll just be in the middle of something, like going about my day, going about my night, and she'll come up to me and she go, "Are you okay?" And I'll I be do like, do that "Yeah." <laughs> like, do I seem wrong? I'm just checking on you. And it's so like pure or like she always will just br like she brings everybody food. She, and she brings everybody food. She orders wings. She she just gets me the wings that I like. <laughs> like she's always taking care of everybody. Like you so have that like maternal energy about you. Nice. And I'm just like wild and need to be. You need you need someone to I need keep someone you in to check. mother me. Yeah, Is seriously. this man that you this this man that's a perspective boy is he ready to rain to to handle the reins like that i mean he's probably more insane than i am so you think it's a so? good match yeah you like that a little bit a little insanity well i'm a for sure psychopath so like you have to understand <laughs> sure. that you know what i mean yeah you have to understand my crazy what Otherwise, is your crazy if you could define it what would it be well okay so like like how crazy are we are we talking like you're like relationship crazy like you're going through this man's phone like you got you got his fingerprint you, no. he's sleeping and you take his finger mm -hmm. to open his phone up maybe 10 years ago but not after, now yeah after a while that shit gets old that I'm, shit gets real like, old, so old real quick. i don't even like, want to make yeah. eye contact with if your phone you, <laughs> i don't care if like, you literally have to be checking somebody's phone 
you don't belong with that person no like, for sure it will but there's two things like do you have to be checking it or are you doing it because you can't help yourself you know what i'm saying no, like right. there's two shouldn't, different you shouldn't at all because right. they should make you feel secure enough that you shouldn't even try to like look at the right. phone for sure for, for what and and even if there's something going on you're just gonna get upset like you know like you, and you'll you, find something yeah, to get upset about. E eventually, everything comes out. Right. Everything. Everything. Oh, right. You're going to get exposed anyways. Like, just don't go through the phone. You'll find out. But I'm not crazy like that. How about your dreams? Do you believe, like, if you have a dream about something and then are you like, oh, I've this had, is real? Oh I've this had yeah. psychic dreams whatever. forever. Yeah. Dreams do tell you stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. I believe that. Yes. yes. What kind of stuff? Like, they tell you the future or they tell you I mean, what I, lottery ticket to buy or they tell you, what do they I tell wish. you? All sorts of stuff. No, I, I have had a lot of dreams that literally, like, unfold a couple weeks later exactly how it was. But see, I'm crazy, though, because, like, I have dreams of people having babies, people dying, and then it happens. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Not all of my psychic dreams are, like, Happen. that extreme, but it has happened. Have you ever been reading somebody's tarot cards and seen like they're gonna die soon and you have to break that news to them no That's so good. first of all as like as a psychic i don't believe based off of my own experience we're not shown or told anything that we aren't supposed to know and like i don't believe that god is going to give me the task of delivering the fact that somebody's going to die those are things that are really none of my business um so i don't see that stuff you know, every well, and I have obviously had dreams of people dying, but it's always been people that were personally close to me, not just like some random person. Oh, you're going to die next week. <laughs> what if you had a dream of somebody dying who you didn't recognize and it was just like some weird, crazy dream and this dude died. And then like two weeks later, you just met somebody, out. you were serving somebody and it was that guy. How crazy would that be? See, that would tweak me out. I've never had something like that happen, but that would for sure tweak me out. That'd oh my God, insane. that would be so scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, damn. Like what, you you died. Now you got me <laughs> fucked up, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, hopefully that never happens. <laughs> yeah, dream, right? dreams are always weird for me. I have like, I smoke a lot of weed, so when I smoke, I don't normally remember my dreams, but there's points where I like don't smoke for weeks or, or whatever, and then you get the fucking crazy Weirdest dreams. dreams. Yes. You get the wild dreams, yep. which I kind of like sometimes, even <laughs> though they're terrifying. I think my most reoccurring and uh, nightmarish dream is me getting shot. It happens all the time. Really? Yeah, and I'm like, it's the most terrifying dream. Uh, Yeah. Yeah damn well yeah. and a lot of dreams is just like our subconscious yeah. thoughts and fears playing out try us trying to make sense of it it's like what's that all about yeah but then sometimes like you know i would get high and then i'm like well what if it's like you know a past life or what if it's like something that is gonna happen at some point and I, and that's why it's so prevalent in my mind or you know some that's crazy, crazy shit like that yeah maybe you it know is what i think about vibes. well what I dream about a lot, it's like falling off a building, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. And it always, always happens every time I'm falling asleep. I feel like that's uh, that's like a manifestation of just like a fear that you have. You know, like when people, a lot of people dream like about being chased or something. Mm -hmm. That's like, a, it's a more symbolic like representation of just like a fear that you have. But I'm not fear. I'm not. I don't have a fear of heights or anything. Well, but it I'll could be something jump out of more a building. psychological. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. If I have to, wait, you could jump out of a building. You know what? Okay, we're I getting, grew up we're in Mexico. To the bottom of things I grew here. up in Mexico, <laughs> and buildings over there are different. So, How like, so? we have like balconies. I don't know. It's it's like weird. But I used to jump from like really high. high. Yeah. When you were a kid, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I can I can probably still do it. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean when you're a kid, you're way more resilient. I used to jump off things too. If I fucking jump too high now, I'll break my knees. I recently <laughs> left my keys in my house, and all my windows were closed, so I had to climb into the roof with, like, just I, literally, I don't even know how I did it. I was so angry too yeah. because I was like fucking like stupid, and that I like next thing you know, I'm on top of the roof. <laughs> 
<laughs> opening a window and my daughter is like watching me oh, like no. mom and i'm just like oh i can't but i got the keys and i left <laughs> i i had to go to work that's that superhuman mom dude, strength I was, shit. like yeah. i don't even know how i did it like it was crazy <laughs> It was insane. My neighbors were probably like, what the Watch fuck is she doing? <laughs> That's amazing. It was like, I was like, I don't know. I was just climbing into it like... <laughs> <laughs> oh it was my wild. gosh. Yeah, was I'm, I'm not crazy like that. I don't know if I can do that. I have like you crazy to, you woman could, strength. Think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Whatever you, know, you gotta there's do that, to survive. There's always that story like of the, the woman who lifted the car up because her baby was stuck under there. Oh God. Like superhuman some strength, Some crazy shit man. like that, you know? Right? Adrenaline, crazy. Yeah. yeah. See, magical powers. Because all of that energy is it's misconstrued being as magical but it's like a real human exactly trait we are like humans just are superhuman yeah, yeah. we are well all right how right battle raps because i've shaken grown men to the point that they can't even face their own friends I, that's why they rhyme about jewels not life because the ice on which they skating is so thin that's what i love about the human soul it'll usually show when the truth ain't told <laughs>